Democrats will wrap up their convention tonight in Chicago. Vice President Kamala Harris will cap off the week with her acceptance speech. News Channel 7's Dale Ryman is in Chicago covering the DNC for us. Dale, it's a big night for the VP. Big is right, Cassandra. Probably the biggest political speech of her career, right? And really one of the last opportunities for her to be able to speak to an audience of millions that will be watching, maybe not just nationally, but worldwide. Now, according to a source who uh, was talking to the Associated Press, her speech tonight will have three objectives. Share her background from a middle-class family to protecting others as the prosecutor. Show her patriotism and how her agenda is different from Donald Trump's. The chair for the Wisconsin Democratic Party says her character is just as important. So much of a, about a, a presidential election is about who someone's fighting for, because you never know what's going to come along. Trump didn't run on his anti-COVID policies when he ran in 2016, but that turned out to be the most important policy that he had, and he completely botched it. What we want is someone who has judgment, the intellect, the character to rise to the moments that the world presents. If you go back as far as five weeks ago, Wickler says part of the challenge was getting people who didn't even want to talk about the election to just tune in. Now that has changed since President Biden withdrew, which leads us to party enthusiasm. Whether they want to admit it or not, Democrats uh, maybe don't want to admit it, but a few weeks ago their campaign was on life support, right? The pulse was really, really low. Now enthusiasm is high. Two of the 95 Wisconsin delegates that are here for Wisconsin are Jan Way and Liz McDonald from Stevens Point. They both say they still would have voted for President Biden, but a change was sorely needed. We need to pass the baton, and I just give him all the credit in the world for realizing that we needed some more energy. And of course, it was the debate that he, he didn't look Good. I mean, it's been a very short time, but I, it's just been wonderful. And we've had so many people come forward, and young people that weren't really involved before are enthusiastic. I don't know why they weren't enthusiastic before. This is the first convention for both of those ladies, and they said they have had a packed schedule all week with delegates and lawmaker events. It will definitely be a night for the history books. The VP will take the stage tonight, and when she does, she will be the first black woman and the first Asian American to be at the top of a major party ticket. And just to give you guys a little bit more about the buzz that's happening here at the United Center, last night we had a surprise visit from Oprah Winfrey, right? Well, the talk tonight is there's going to be a guest that's maybe even bigger star power. A lot of the name going around right now is Beyonce. So Beyonce may very well be here tonight lending her support to the Harris Walls campaign. Reporting live in Chicago, Dale Ryman, News Channel 7.